I did stupid stuff again. <laughs> hey guys, what is up? The Holy Emerald here back with another Minecraft Pocket Edition video. And today we're going to be doing a video on the hidden blocks or items in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Before we take a look at the first hidden block, first of all, we have to understand how the logistics of a lava bucket and a water bucket works. When you do place a water bucket, you're not actually placing water from a water bucket, you know what I mean? It actually modifies a block, so when you actually place your water bucket, it does take it away from your inventory, but it places down a stationary water block. Which is something that a lot of people probably already know, but I just wanted to go over these logistics before we actually um, go into anything, um, for a matter of fact. And basically we have these uh, four new or four exclusive hidden blocks, which have been there for a long time. They've been there since I think uh, the beginning of MCPE when water and lava were added, um, you know, as a matter of fact. And as you can see, we have some water which is in the flowing form, lava in the flowing form. We have stationary water, which means that the water won't actually move, and stationary lava, which also means that the lava won't actually move. The next block that we're going to have a look at today is the piston head. The piston head is actually a modifier block, which means that it doesn't really have any significance in Minecraft Pocket Edition, except that it is used when a piston is actually moved. So all of these blocks that I'm going to be showcasing, or most of these blocks that I'm going to be showcasing, are actually block modifiers, which means that logically in the game they're not supposed to actually exist, but as you switch on a lever, or as you modify the block, this block actually um, repeats itself in a stable format. And a lot of these aren't static, and they are move on. a lot of these blocks aren't static at all so that's why hence they have to create a new block uh, for any uh, town modifiers as well the next block that we're going to be looking into is actually the sign and this is a static sign you can't edit the sign at all and it was primarily the sign that existed before 0.6.0 which actually added signs legitimately which means that before 0.6.0 we could type in chat, I mean, we could type on signs, but only using an inventory editor or using Falza, um, iExplorer, or uh, iFox. These three applications were um, the only applications that actually allowed us to edit on signs, which is really a bummer. But you know what's so cool about this block? If you want to stop the flow of water, all you're going to have to do is to place that block down and you don't even have to type in the chat. I mean, type on a sign. All you have to do is place it down and the water will stay. The next one, a good majority of you guys will know, and it is the portal block. The portal block is actually not a static block, but I'm not sure how to call it. Basically, when you do light up a nether portal with the flint and steel, you get these portal blocks which allow you to enter the nether. And what I think is Minecraft Pocket Edition actually has code that when you tap flint and steel on top of obsidian, an activation occurs where portal blocks are placed on the interior of these obsidian frames. The next and final block or item that we're going to be looking at is the trip wire. The trip wire is not a trip wire hook, but it is just a trip wire. Now this block is really really cool. We can use it for really really cool stuff, um, and preferably map makers and uh, servers can use this lot. And reason being is you don't really need any trip wire hooks. I mean, come on. Uh, that's that's actually pretty cool. So we don't have to look at any tripwire hooks. We can just uh, see the tripwire in its entirety, which I believe is 
really nice. Last block that we're gonna look at is actually a very crucial pivotal block that has no use anymore. Well, unless you're downloading mods. Well, if Minecraft Pocket Edition can figure out what block you have, and it's probably because you have either downgraded or upgraded your game, then prior to 0.15.0, you would get an update game block. If I were to use a repeater, and I were to place down a repeater, and downgrade to MCPE 0.5.0, and then I would see an update block in the place of the repeater. Same thing holds good for mods. If you were to get, uh, I, I don't know, an alien um, mothership block, and you were to switch back to regular Minecraft, it won't know what the block is and how to detect it. So you will get one of these blocks. So, I believe that's the conclusion of today's video. Hope you all enjoyed, and peace out, guys.